challenges which uh, COVID-19 has brought. And uh, what has been uh, the avenue, we have um, seen an opportunity to improve our, our connectivity and uh, internet connectivity and the use of technology has really come in handy. Uh, there is the challenge of finances because we were not prepared. The system had to be upgraded. Uh, it's a challenge also, although it's an opportunity, but it's a challenge. If you log in at Milimani at 9 and all the judges are using the system, there will be ups and downs. Sometimes you can't hear uh, the other person on the other end, but it has served. It has, so far it has served. Uh, in my view, it's an opportunity also to hear matters which uh, do not need physical attendance, uh, like appeals. Uh, uh, an appeal is filed, the record of appeal is, uh, is filed, uh, you are not taking any new evidence. Uh, you can hear these appeals online, uh, especially those ones uh, where there are advocates um, uh, involved. Uh, at Milimani, there has been a very good uh, device, uh, which I like it for those who don't have lawyers. If you don't have an advocate, uh, there is a place where you, are, you can go there, you are connected, uh, your case is there, you are representing yourself, you, you are logged in, and I can see him that uh, this is uh, so and so uh, who has come for his case, and then he can talk and he has that comfort of the staff. So I think uh, we have also tried to, 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 to assist Kenyans uh, despite the challenges we have. Thank you. Thank you. Um, yeah, my final uh, question is on involvement in community service. The other time we we discussed and uh, uh, you told us that you involve a lot in schools, mentorship, uh, many other things. But when I was going through your CV again, I realized that uh, you are doing PhD in Peace and Conflict Studies in Masen, Masinde, Mas, uh, in, in uh, Masinde Muliro University. And uh, you are currently writing a proposal on on radicalization. Uh, what have you, in any way, tried to you know um, work with the community to see into it that uh, this radicalization is 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 is, is sorted especially in Kuala, where you come from, and Mombasa, as, as community service. Uh, thank you, Commissioner. Actually, I've uh, passed the proposal stage. I've submitted my findings, and now they are with the external examiner. So I'm waiting for the feedback. Then I do the second um, defense, and uh, I will be ready to graduate, uh, God willing, the course of the year. Community service is an, uh, an important aspect, and uh, it's good you have uh, raised that issue. I come from Kuala, and uh, with radicalization, community service, you have to do it uh, in a very indirect way, through empowering the youth, and uh, also through education. Kuala is one of the most affected uh, counties when it comes to radicalization why I picked that topic. There are many returnees from Somalia in the county, very many. These are people who are trained. Uh, there are people who can't build a house in their rural home because uh, uh, the, for fear of being attacked by, by, by the returnees who feel that they are being haunted. Uh, coming back to the question of community involvement, I've engaged the leaders in that area, the MCAs, uh, to try to talk to them. During my research, I attended several, uh, several um, meetings, one of them being uh, preparation. Each county is supposed to come up with a, a county action plan. For, to fight radicalization. So I remember being invited to go and being a participant and uh, 
talk about radicalization in uh, the sense that we have to, 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 to how to eliminate it because it's uh, deep rooted and you cannot just uh, like corruption say there is no radicalization. This is somebody with his own ideology. So I have participated in trying to to to, to fight this menace. I've talked to several NGOs. There are so many NGOs in uh, Kuala and Mombasa uh, which uh, deal with this aspect. Muhuri, there is Aki Africa who have done very commendable work. And uh, I have uh, engaged the ATPU in Mombasa, not in Nairobi. They have good intentions uh, trying to talk to the Wananchi coming. I've talked to the religious leaders uh, trying to see how they, you know, even there is that fear. I've been talking to Kadis who are judicial officers, and they are saying, uh, Said, if I go to the mosque and talk about radicalization, I'll be killed. But I've tried to talk to them and say, you don't have to denounce it uh, publicly, but where you can, and you can uh, go and talk to, to your family members that. Um, there is a special so and so is engaged in this thing. Can you talk to him? And uh, they've they have understood me. So it's a dangerous aspect where village men. In fact, uh, in that meeting where I attended, the, the county commissioner told me nobody is coming forward in some in some areas to be a Nyumbakumi elder. Mm -hmm. Nobody. It's there, but nobody is coming forward uh, for fear of being eliminated. So I've tried my level best. Uh, and uh, I've understood the problem, so prison is doing very good work trying to reform them. But uh, you know now, you can go to certain extent. If you poke your nose so much, you can also be eliminated. Yeah. Yes. Thank you, Judge. Thank you, Chair. Th thank you very much, Commissioner Koske. Honorable Judge, out of interest, what methodology are you using to collect data? Is it a qualitative or quantitative? Uh, I have uh, Yes. I have structured questionnaires. Uh, some are in English, some are in Kiswahili. Uh, because of uh, maybe I've been uh, targeting the imams and the religious leaders and the community, then the, the, those educated ones, the NGOs and whatever. So that is one uh, aspect of uh, data collection. I have also uh, interpersonal uh, interviews, uh, which I've done uh, at ATPU, I've done at the prison, I've done uh, with the CEOs of some uh, some human rights uh, groups. Uh, those are the, the main, uh, the other aspect of uh, maybe secondary material reading is uh, also mm. there, but I've been uh, using questionnaires and uh, personal interviews. Right, so that is uh, Judge Chitemwa Said over there trying to convince uh, the Supreme Court judges why he needs to be given that position of becoming a member, you know, one of the judges at the Supreme Court. Of course, talking about transparency when being placed in a committee within the judiciary, accountability when it comes to the uses of, usage of public funds. And of course, saying that for a judge to be uh, appointed to the Supreme Court bench, that means at least you need to have an experience of 15 years before being given that chance. And also talking about um, transparency when it comes 